here at the hangar and I uh, just hooked up uh, the prop balancer and did a two high power run ups at 2300 and 2100 on the prop for the dynamic balancer to see what the uh, IPS was and uh, this thing's running really smooth it's under uh, 0 0.7 and 0 0.11 on the two different uh, values and I'm not going to really add any weight because it's running so smooth uh, I don't normally fly this at takeoff power and I haven't had it up there yet but uh, that's the setup for you guys to see how it's done. There's the uh, blade tape right here. The optical transducer. I used the laser level right here to line it up to, to sight the prop. Just get some high speed tape and tape the uh, leads down. That's the coax cable. I mounted the transducer right here where the old uh, vent tube uh, went. It's a quarter 28, but you could tap the block or use anything else you wanted. Well, let's see, what else can I tell you? It's a smooth machine. Uh, that's my layout for my cockpit. Let me run you back around to the other side. I didn't put the cowling on because it helps on ground cooling on the ground with the cowling off. You're gonna run it out a bunch of times. It's almost 100 degrees out here today in California. Uh, there is the uh, IEPS for the uh, history. I don't know if you can read this. It's um, 0.06 at 2100 RPM, 100 degrees out of phase. Uh, 2300 it was 0.11. Uh, 2100 0.7, and 2300 again 0.6. So I usually fly it at uh, 2300 RPM to 2100 RPM, and it's well under 0.15, which is considered a good balanced propeller. So you could sit around and play with it, but uh, I think I'm going to call it good for a while. Anyway, that's uh, pretty much it. And